Hey Divas, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Keisha here with another video. And today we're going to continue my 2024 planner lineup series. So in this series, over the course of the next few days, I'm going to be showing you what my planners are going to look like for 2024. So if that sounds like something you're interested in seeing, then stay tuned. All right, Diva. Well, yesterday I showed you my business planner for 2024 from, from my pal planner. And just to go over my list, I need a catch-all planner, a budget planner, a business planner, social media planner, a home planner slash section, and another planner, um, my community volunteer planner, and a home project planner. So like I said yesterday, we striked one off the list, which is the uh, business planner. So today I'm going to unbox a planner that I have for a few weeks now, and I'm hoping that it fits the categories for one of these other planners. All right, so let's go ahead and let me grab that box. All right, girl. So it's the cloth and paper subscription box. I have a long story about cloth and paper. Like I was a faithful subscriber for over two years, I believe. And um, I just had a lot of stuff. And last year or this year, I really made an effort to not purchase like any more stationery and really use what I have. One thing with the sub boxes, they give you a bunch of material to use in your planner, which is great. Especially if you're new to planning, I would highly recommend uh, the cloth, paper, cloth and paper subscription box. It'll give you almost everything you can think of. Some you may need, some you don't need, but a good start. So nonetheless, even going hand to hand with my budgeting, I was spending $38 a month. And I was like, girl, I don't, I know what I need now as far as planning. So I didn't want to continue the, the subscription. But I know for November and December, they really give you some good tools for 2024. So I just went ahead and renewed my subscription for November and December. So I haven't received the December box yet. I don't believe they shipped those out yet. But this is from the November box. This is what we received in November and I still have not opened it. So it should be the planner for 2024. So let's go ahead, unbox it, and I'll give you my thoughts and let you know if this is something I can use in my planner lineup. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and pull everything out and get rid of the box. Okay, so like I said, cloth and paper is really good for those of you who are starting to plan and you just, you don't know where to start. The box is curated for you, so it'll give you a bunch of things. So here goes some flag, um, some flag stickers, which are good just highlighting important things in your planner. Here goes a transparent plan stick, flag sticker, so you just put this over a word that you definitely want to draw attention to. And then this one, let me open this up. So this is um, it's like an, a receipt of all the things, the essential things that you would need to start planning, um, which is cute. Here goes a pop-up calendar for January. So this is something that you can just use like as a table tent or most people actually put it in their planner. So that is good. This tells us what's inside of this box. And this is just um, this is just a thank you card. And then there's a little tag in here. I don't know if it's like a gift tag or whatever it's supposed to be. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. Like I said, this, this box and the December box is like a really good box, really worth your money. So here goes some Ollie clips. These are pretty much, um, almost you use them as bookmarks, okay, in, in your planner. Here goes some more sticky notes. Some more stickers here. But then this girl, this is what we really wanted to get to. So let me go ahead and open this up. Okay, I'm excited about that. So you have the 1V, which is a uh, Roman numeral for four, yearly planner stock dashboard the this belongs to page year at a glance for 2024 so this is the calendar of course holidays and observances and then I remember um, 
these are i guess throughout the book they may have different sayings from different folks and this is jim Rohn. i love jim Rohn. so it's just repetitive if you want to have more you have to become more if you want things to change you have to change if you want to get better you have to get better if you want things to improve you have to improve when you grow everything grows for you and it just says that over and over which is a, a, a constant reminder that this is really good okay all right then here we go we go into january here goes the goals important dates bills due here goes a checklist on your monthly calendar here a notes sidebar and it gives you the previous month and the month coming up then it gives you a note page two note pages and then we get into the weeks. And then I like this layout because for this, they give you three empty boxes. So you can do like to do, important or notes, however you wanna label this. And honestly, when I subscribed for the, when I renewed my subscription, I really thought about using this for my business planner because I told you yesterday, like I love to write lists. Like I'm a list kind of person I like to write lists and then be able to check it off. So I was gonna use this as like my business planner, but then when I saw how robust the other planner was and how that would really push me to where I want to build my business to, I was like, oh yeah. But this was already in motion, so I couldn't like stop the train from moving. So I said, okay, I'll find another use for this. And that's pretty much what it does for the next, um, for the 12 months. Okay, let me just confirm that each month has a different saying on there. Each month has a different quote from someone else, so that's good. And it does that throughout the entire year. Anything special in the back? Okay, in the back you have your contact list, um, which will be great because at least what I plan on using this for, um, I'm always meeting people and having to contact folks, so this would be a good source of information. And they don't necessarily have to be on my phone. So if I'm working with a city official, county official, or something like that, this would be good to have their information listed. So the other good thing that comes with this planner are these divider tabs. Let me go ahead and open this up. And I just think these are so clever. So let me just go back to January. So it has this month, this week, and today. So I will put this right here in the monthly section. Okay, so I can easily get to this month. And I could have easily put it in front of here. If it's something you look like, if you're interested in getting, I mean, you could put it here, wherever. And then this week, I would definitely go to the first week of January. You see, the today section is gonna be difficult because this is a weekly planner spread, not like a, a a monthly and a weekly so the today and this week is almost gonna be the same so I think I'm only gonna use the this month and this week because there's no place to put that today because this is not a daily planner okay but I do have another book hold on one second girl so, girl, I got this last year in the subscription box, which I never use. This is another reason why I was like, I need to cancel the box because I don't use everything. But this is a perfectly fine, just a notebook, just an executive notebook. Let me put this one to the side for a sec. Because I told you, I like to write lists and take notes. So, I think I could probably do the today and this one. And whenever I'm writing something in the notes, I just know the last page I've written on. And I like this book because you can circle the, the day, the month, and the date. So it fits fine, it fits flush. So, but back to the main thing. So all in all, I believe I'm going to use this as my volunteer board work that I do. This is going to be the planner for that. I think this is good. 
um, it gives me a weekly overview, which is great because I don't always do something every day with this job. So um, then I'll have a running task. I can have like notes for different committee members. So I think this would be, this is a good one, girl. Look at us scratching up another planner and then getting use out of this one, hopefully. I'm gonna keep this one out and about more often. This one was like on the bookshelf, so I don't, I don't really reach for it. But now, now I gave it some purpose, girl, with this tab. She's gonna be out and about. Well, Diva, that is it. We have two planners down, five more to go. Thanks for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe, girl. Today's Vlogmas, today is day six. And um, we're gonna keep this party going. So let me know what your 2024 planning lineup is looking like. Have you started? Are you gonna start planning at all? I know some people do not plan and they always put that on like their things to-do list. So where are you on your planning journey? Do you, have you started? Are you even thinking about planning? Are you already an avid planner and you love planning? Um, so let me know how you feel about planning and, and what you feel about these two planners that I have knocked out so far. So girl, that is it. And I will see you tomorrow. Later.